Hey YouTube, it's Empress here. I'm here to do a tutorial on undergarments. I was asked to do this a bunch of times from some of my subbies. Um, I'm just getting around to it. I've been putting it off for way too long. But yeah, the most important thing about undergarments, like the number one thing that everybody needs, not everybody, every girl needs, is a proper TSD. A titty supporting device. We all need the perfect titty supporting device because there's no way that you can have proper posture or look proper in your clothes without one. I mean, when I was back in el like late elementary, all like almost all of high school, I did not have a proper TSD. Like I was like sagging, like always having to adjust. I mean. Yeah, it was just not cute, and it was not it was uncomfortable. I mean, I'd go into the bathroom and, like, have to go and adjust my bra. Yeah, it just, it wasn't cute. And I don't know if anybody else out there has that, well, has or had that problem, but I did. And I learned from that. You have to get properly fitted. Like, I have not done that yet. I just buy what fits me properly and, you know, makes me look like... I have great posture, and yeah, I mean, for now it's working. I do not have a hundred dollars to spend on a friggin' prop on a custom-made bra. But for those of you who do, you should go and get that done. If not, you just. Buy, I think for me, I think if I buy if I buy a bra that's one size like a bit too small, like the cup is a bit too small that holds me firmly and that keeps me in like it might sound weird to you guys but to me it works like if I if I have a bra that fits like a size too small or it's like a cup size is a bit too small it's definitely gonna hold me and secure me tightly so they're not like spilling out they're not like slipping through the bottom or what whatever as long as um my cup size is a bit too small that works for me I don't know about anybody else anybody else should go and get their um their self um, fitted. Um, where I get my bras from, I don't think you guys have it, like, anywhere else. I think it's just a Canadian store. It's called Lucenza. Um, they're really cheap. They have, like, they always have sales, like, every day they're having new sales. Like, three bras for $30. That's a bomb deal. Like, I don't know how it is in the States. I know you guys have, like, wicked prices out there. But I don't know if anybody can top three. Um... Uh, that's it for bras. Um, the other thing is, you need to have a proper girdle. If you have, like, a little bit of fat spilling over, like, you know, the muffin top, a girdle will easily take care of that. You don't need the expensive Spanx or, like, Body Magic. I've seen it work wonders. I have my sister's friend, she wears Body Magic, and, like, it's a big difference. Like, she went down, like, three sizes two to three sizes, her stomach was flat, well, with it on, like, her stomach was flat, I mean, she tucked in her shirt, there was no bulge, nothing, it was sick, like, it cost, I think it was like $120, but it's well worth it, if you have the money, um, yeah, but if you don't really have the money, just get like a little, a girdle, like, this is mine, I wear a girdle, okay, proudly, these are one of my girdles. And they're not expensive at all. You don't have to get the Spanx, as I said. Spanx are like, what, $50 or something? This was only $6 at Burlington Coat Factory. And, yeah, I should have got two. But I only got one. And, I mean, it's still fairly new. They last you a really, really long time. I still have, like, two that I got years and years ago. And... Um, I got mine one size smaller. I got it in, uh, 2X, because I feel like if I got it one size smaller, just like the bra, it's gonna hug me more, be extra tight. Um, one problem that could happen if it is too tight, there might be, um, like, in the thigh area, there might be a little bulge, like, you know, how it, how it, uh, sticks into your skin. You might see a little bulge, and, yeah, it's not cute. You could, like, a little trick is you could snip it, and then it won't, you won't see the extra tightness around the thigh. But for me, the 2X is actually pretty good. I don't see that, 
cat balls, but I've had, I've had, I have had that, um, with previous girdles. I'm not saying that if you wear a girdle, then you don't love all your cur your curves, and, I mean, you have low self-esteem, but you want to look good. I mean, you're already heavy. Society is already against you for being heavy, overweight. I mean, they're already against you. You might as well love yourself. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will. That's, that's what, all I have to say. I mean, wearing a girdle is not, doesn't mean that you don't love yourself. I know some people are, like, embarrassed to say that they wear a girdle or, you know, deep down they're kind of ashamed, but there's no need to be. Like, it works wonders. You look flawless with a girdle on. You don't see any extra bulge. I mean, I see people out there who don't have on um, undergarments, and it's just, it's a little bit sloppy. You want to look neat. You want to put, you want to look well put together. I mean, don't you? <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. So, um, just go out there and get one, because they work wonders. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> doodles.